What's up guys, I'm Ross, your mattress expert from realmattressreviews.com. Today I'm here to finish up our review for you of the Luft Plush Mattress from luftbeds.com. So this comes in three different firmness levels. We've got a lot of information to talk to you today about those firmness levels and which I think might work best for what type of person. So we have here the plush version, as I mentioned, a few things about this mattress to start off. They offer the 100 night trial, which is pretty standard in this online market, a 10 year warranty, and the Queens right now with the best available coupon, which you can find by clicking the link down in the description, they come in at 1099. So any available savings you can always find by clicking the link in the description or heading over to realmattressreviews.com and clicking on the coupons tab. So we're here to help you pick the right mattress and help you guys save a little bit of money at the same time. So let's dive right in. First of all, this is the 2.0 version of Luft. I originally did a Luft hybrid review about a year or so ago. They have since revamped the website, totally revamped the mattress, added firmness levels, and they've got a nice new cover that looks very nice. It's a nice stretch knit cover. So it's gonna snap back into place. It's very durable. The cover runs all the way down on the side panels as well. So it's just got a really nice look. Although some of these mattresses are looking very awesome, I still recommend using a mattress protector either way. But they have a nice, very durable, kind of a cooling cover on the top. This plus version uses multiple layers of gel infused foam in the quilt and right under the quilt. So you've got a nice soft feel on the very top followed up by two inches of graphene infused memory foam. And so this is gonna be a memory foam that's infused with graphene. It's gonna sleep a lot cooler than your traditional memory foam that you'll find on a lot of mattresses without any kind of infusion. So we've got that two inches of graphene and then underneath that you've got one inch of serene foam. So I'm very familiar with serene. I sell a lot of mattresses in my store that use serene. And it's a foam that has the pressure relief of memory foam, but it breathes a lot better and it's a lot faster responding. So it's a really nice layer of foam to have in this mattress underneath that graphene infused memory foam. It's gonna provide additional pressure relief and softness, but at the same time, add a little bit more response without having uh, just another plain old poly foam on the inside underneath that comfort layer. And then they followed up with the Quantum Edge to Edge Coil Unit, which is one of my favorite coil units. The coils come all the way out to the edges, provides really durable support on the edges without using a foam encasement, which would be the alternative for edge support. A lot of the online brands you'll see using this Quantum Coil versus the foam encasement. Foam encasement can end up having uh, a lot of problems in my store. Uh, occasionally you'll get a uh, foam encasement that kind of blows out or folds in and then you have uh, caving on the side of the mattress. So being that these are roll packed, the Quantum Coil is just a better unit to use. You're not gonna have to worry about foam encasement caving in or, or bulging out. So it's a really nice durable coil unit. This one has five zones as well. So you're gonna have better support in areas where you need it, a little bit softer support in your shoulder area, hip area where uh, if you were side sleeping, you'd have less pressure push back up. So a couple other things to note here, with the other firmness levels. So the Luxury Firm uses one inch of the graphene and then they've got two inches of what they call HD Adaptive Foam, which is gonna be uh, more of a supportive, firmer foam underneath that top quilt and top one inch layer of graphene. Um, another thing that I found interesting was that the Luxury Firm and Firm use a different coil unit that's 1,074 coils, so it's got a little bit more coils and seven zones. So not quite sure why they did that. The biggest reason I would think is because luxury firm and firm are supposed to be a little bit of a firmer feel obviously. So with the more coils in there, you, you, you might have a little bit more durable support underneath. Um, and then the firm uses two inches of graphene, uh, not as many of those gel layers and more of uh, firmer polyfoam layers in there. So it's kind of interesting how the use different coil units. I know it makes sense for different firmness levels, but this is the plush. I'm gonna go ahead first here and just kind of lay down on it. We'll talk a little bit about what I'm feeling and I'll give you guys my opinion on the firmness level. So this, the first time I laid on it and then during our sleep trial, 
It feels really, really nice when you lay down. It's a very substantial mattress, first of all. And the comfort layers on this and the top quilt is really nice and soft. For me at 200, 210 pounds, I feel like the plush for me was a little bit too soft. And I could see you know, people that are my weight or heavier definitely thinking that the plush is maybe a little bit too soft. Um, you do sink into it, if, so if you know you do like a soft mattress, regardless of your weight, I mean this could really uh, be a, a great option for you. It's, it's honestly one of the softest online mattresses that I've reviewed so far. And it works really good in all three positions. Stomach sleeping for me it was a little too soft, but side sleeping it's excellent. You have hardly any force push back up here on your hip or your shoulder. And it's, like I said, excellent for side sleeping. Um, I personally like a mattress to start a little bit firmer, so it allows break-in. So for me, I think the ideal uh, Luff mattress would have been the luxury firm version, where it's gonna start just a little bit firmer than this, and then once it's broken in, it might have this softness. But I feel like for me, if I was sleeping on this for an extended period of time, once it breaks in a little bit more, I think the plush for me personally would be a little bit too soft. So this is, uh, you know, one of the main things I wanted to talk about with this mattress is which firmness level might be right for you. So I would say if you know you like something really soft or you're a lighter person that prefers a medium or a medium soft, uh, lighter people, this will work great for you if you do like a softer mattress. If you're 200 pounds to 300 pounds and you like a medium, I would get the Luxury Firm um, unless you know you want something very, very soft. Because as I mentioned, I'm pretty sure this is probably in the plush version the softest mattress that we've reviewed so far. So I would think a lot of people will like the feel, but for long term, if you're more of a medium person, I would go luxury firm. And then obviously, if you like firm, the firmest option would be the best for you. Or if you were very heavy, you know, 300 pounds or more, um, I would say potentially the luxury firm or the firm uh, would be the, the options you'd want to look at um, just thinking ahead to break in. So uh, the plush here, when it is broken in, is definitely going to even get softer yet. So. Realistically, this felt really nice for us, and Kayla loved the feel of it because she likes a softer mattress. But after some time, if it got even softer yet, I think both of us probably would have preferred the Luxury Firm version. And then with a little bit higher coil count in that Luxury Firm, um, generally that's a good thing to have more coils. So I think that's probably uh, the better model to go with for the majority of people unless you know you like a soft mattress. But very, very good pressure relief and it's got a very good response time for having uh, graphene memory foam and that Serene. Uh, the quilt foam is very fast reacting as well, as you can see. So when you are laying here, even, even this one being as soft as it is, when you adjust positions, it's not, uh, you're not getting that stuck feeling at all. It's still very easy to adjust positions even though it is a softer mattress. So uh, that's a plus, obviously, for those of you that have trouble moving around. So now that you know a little bit about how the plush version feels and my opinion on which firmness level might be right for you, uh, next up we're gonna take a look at, I'll give you guys a kind of a good example of the bounce, which I just kind of talked about, about how easy it is to move and adjust positions. It's very good fast reacting foams. We'll go ahead and drop the weight. So as you can see, it has a little bit of bounce still, being that the foams are faster responding and you have got a coil unit in there versus a, like a foam core if you're looking at an all foam mattress. So if this just had, uh, you know, all foam without the quilt and you were dropping this right on memory foam, you'd have more of a thud, and that mattress would be a lot harder to move and adjust position. So with the foam in this paired with that quantum coil unit, you've got a really good balance of bounce 
and pressure relief, and it's still really easy to adjust positions on. Next up, we'll take a look at motion transfer. This is a pretty puffy quilt, so it might be kind of hard to get that bottle to stay where I want it. But So this will give you guys an idea of motion transfer reduction, and it is very good on this mattress. The quantum coil units are very good for motion isolation to begin with. And then the layering of the foams that they use in this and the quilting foam, uh, it has very good motion isolation. So if you or your partner moves around a lot, you're not gonna feel that motion nearly as much as you would if you're used to a traditional inner spring mattress. So a lot of mattresses in the past have interconnected coils where all of them are kind of tied and weaved together. You're gonna feel way more motion transfer on a mattress like that than you will with these uh, pocketed coils. So they're all independently responding. So when you push down right here or where your shoulder would go in, they interact independently so you have less force push back up and being independent, you've got a lot less motion transfer. So I'll just kind of plop down pretty hard. See very little movement. Part of that's just gonna be my whole platform in general. Even when I get really close here, you're gonna see not a lot of motion transfer at all. Like I said, a lot of that's gonna be my platform bed's not all bolted down and screwed in. So you should find a vast improvement on this if you are used to a traditional inner spring. If you're coming from an all foam mattress, these hybrid mattresses have good motion isolation, but all foam mattresses sometimes will be the best for that. But most people aren't gonna have any kind of an issue with motion isolation on this Luff mattress. So next up we'll talk about edge support. And I kind of touched on this when I talked about the coil unit. These quantum units come all the way out to the edge. They aren't rock hard on the edge, but you don't want that anyways because then when you were laying right close to the edge, you'd feel almost kind of a wall towards the side. So it's a little bit more consistent of how the mattress feels on the edge as well. So you can sleep close to the edge, but they have a narrower coil on the edge, two rows of those that are just a little bit stiffer, so you're not going to get that roll off the bed feel uh, nearly as much as you would with a mattress without either a quantum edge or a foam encasement. So as you can see when I sit here, of course the comfort layers are going to sink in, but as soon as my uh, leg sinks into the top of the coil unit, it's very supportive. They're barely going down at all here on the edge. And I'm more interested in how the edge performs when I'm laying close to the side. And when I lay even on the extreme edge here, I feel supported. I don't have very much of a roll off the bed feeling at all. Just a little bit here on my shoulder, or my arm, but it's hanging off. So if I'm a little bit more realistic though, we give ourselves you know, a few inches where you'd actually sleep in this queen size mattress if there were two of you in it. Do not have that roll off the bed sensation whatsoever. So, in terms of edge support, the Luft and the Quantum Coil they have in this mattress perform very well for that. So the overall quality of Luft is very high. I actually have mattresses in my store from the factory that this mattress comes out of. So I know the quality that comes out of this factory has always been very high. Uh, and this is no exception, it's a very well-made mattress. And what they've really done is set out to offer you know, three distinct firmness levels. Uh, a lot of other brands are offering three distinct firmness levels, but um, like I said, this is probably the softest mattress that I've reviewed. So those of you that are seeking a very soft mattress, this is probably gonna be the best soft mattress that you're gonna find online. And then those of you that are seeking more of the medium in the middle feel that the majority of you will probably like, I think the luxury firm version of this will be the best bet for those of you that do want that medium feel. And then they have their obviously very firm feel as well. Um, it's not gonna be like a rock, but of these three it will be the firmest. Um, my opinion is that the luxury firm is gonna be the one that most people are gonna like. A couple other things to touch on here before we go, um, temperature regulation. So we didn't have really any issue getting overheated in this mattress, which is very impressive being that this is, like I said, one of the softest mattresses I've slept on from the online market. So when you have a softer mattress, obviously more of your body is sinking in and more of your body is hugged 
from the mattress since you are sinking in further. Uh, typically, that means you're going to sleep hotter because less of your body is kind of exposed to the air. So with that being said, even though this is very soft, I still didn't get overheated at all on this mattress, so they've done a really good job with picking out their gel layers and their graphene memory foam and then the Serene. Uh, all those foams that are in this comfort layers are all foams that do sleep very cool um, compared to some poly foams and your traditional memory foam. So those of you that are hot, this could be a great option for you. Uh, additionally, the firmer versions should sleep even cooler yet because you're gonna have more of your body exposed to the air since you're not gonna sink in quite as far as this option. All right guys, if you have any questions at all, drop me a message below. Click the link down in the description, jump over, grab any coupons available for this. And you can also check out over a hundred other mattress reviews we've done. All right guys, appreciate you watching this video. Thanks a lot, have a great day.